What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who it is. The chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. And my main man right here, Shorter Skywalker from the DFS Club. So, you want to give him a woo? No? No woo for you? <laughs> Coming to you guys with a 14-game slate. 14 games! But don't you dare be sour because I've just built a nice little core for you guys. So, we're not going to go through a long-ass video. Uh, it's not necessary. I just I'm just gonna get straight to the players that I like. So if you're new, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave Schroeder and I a comment down below. Right, Schroeder? We love the comments. And if you're ever so inclined, also down below is a super thanks option. If you want to leave us a couple dollars in the tip jar, it goes right back towards the channel and it goes towards the brand new studio early next year, guys. So we're looking very forward to that. So without further ado. Let's start the fucking show. All right, guys. So, yeah, I took a day off. I'll take a... Normally, I take one day off a week just to kick back, chill. Um, Top Gun Maverick was on Paramount Plus tonight, so I'm like, yo. All right. So, that killed a lot of time, but... Um, yeah, guys, I'm back, and uh, it's a big slate. It was only a two game slate anyway. I mean, I did cash on one, I, I cashed in both NBA, NHL was a great night. NHL cashed two out of three lines in both DraftKings and FanDuel. And here at the DFS Club, we play every single sport, guys, because we won't stop because we can't stop. You know what I mean? So, yo, before we get it, so we get to 100 likes. I will give away a free one month DFS club membership. We got to 94 likes last last video. So if we can get to 100, I'm going to give away another one month DFS club membership, guys. So let's get to 100 likes. Let's hit that hit that comments, hit those subs. And uh yeah, guys, let's get into the uh super thanks is from last video. Let's go to Mr. my man right here, Paul McCarthy with a $9.99 Look at that, Schroeder. $9.99 super thanks. He says, another great core exclamation point. Thank you so much, Mr. McCarthy, man. Hopefully you won big. Right, Schroeder? Hopefully he won big because that's a pretty pretty generous dono, right? He says, yeah, that'll buy that'll buy some, some salmon treats, all right. So Schroeder and I, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much, Mr. Paul McCarthy. You are the chosen one. Thank you. Also, we got Jan. God bless Jan, our, our DFS club member. $2 super thanks. God bless you, Jan. You already know. Praying for you every single day, you and your family. Thank you. God bless you, man. My brother, Catcher AD, with a $2 super thanks. Schroeder goes, woo! Every time he sees Catcher, every time he sees Jan, every time he sees Paul, go down a super thanks because he, he, he thinks of his salmon treats and he goes, woo! <laughs> yeah oh this guy i can't i can't i love this cat man love this cat thank you guys you guys are just blessing me i'm blessed i'm blessed not only am i the perfect specimen woo not only am i the chosen one woo now you guys have blessed me you guys have truly blessed me thank you guys so much Shoulder and i really appreciate it it's awesome thank you if you guys want your time to shine you get your special shout out in the next video. Leave us a dollar or two in the tip jar, and uh, yeah, we'll shout you guys out. It'd be really cool. I obviously need a haircut. Oh my goodness, guys. The top's fine. I just need to tighten up the sides here. You know what I'm saying? The perfect specimen. Got to keep an image, you know? I can still have, don't, don't get it twisted now. I can still have any woman I want, just like that. But I still got to keep it, you know. I keep it keep it good, you know what I'm saying? Especially the holidays coming up, Christmas coming up. All right, so let's get into this 11 game. Well, first, you guys are sitting there like, but I want to join the DFS club. How do I get your lineups? Guys, with the DFS club membership, you get all my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks, the members only podcast. Had a good one today. Um, you got DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS, 800 members, guys, and we play everything. I already miss MLB. <laughs> I miss MLB so much, man. We won so much money with MLB. Man, 
that was that was fun. Um, but shit, it'll be here before you know it. We still got NFL going. We got NBA going. We got NHL going. We got. I don't know if tennis is going. I don't think NASCAR is going. But soccer, esports, UFC, um, college sports, your league basketball. Which reminds me, I need to see if there's a slate tomorrow so I can drop a lineup for the club. Um, you get everything, guys. And we're $14 a month. 14 bucks a month. All you got to do is click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And yo, makes a great Christmas gift for anybody. Woo! Your neighbors, your friends, your family. You want to impress your loved one. Say, yay, I got you a DFS club membership. Your loved one will go, woo! Woo! They'd be woo wooing all night long. So, guys, we cover price picks, sports wagering, and the prices. Look at these prices: fourteen bucks a month. We have our bronze, silver, gold, three day passes. They all cover everything. The only difference is the more you pay up, the more you save. Other than that, no bullshit, no, no, no scams, none of that crap. We're the real ones, guys. So, stop losing. Stop taking the bus. Start getting custom-made clothes. Start riding in limousine, riding, jet flying, wheeling, dealing, kiss stealing, son of a gun. Come join the DFS club, guys. You will not be sour and you will not regret it. That I promise you. All right, so let's get into it. I'm trying to decide. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that bell icon because... I might do the NFL video because there's a huge slate on Saturday. I might do it tonight or tomorrow night. Tomorrow night I have to wrap a lot of presents, so maybe I'll shoot it tonight. We'll see. All right, so first up, so we got the late night hammer game, which is a good game to target. So first and foremost, this is what I tell the club. On a big-ass slate like this, I would only target maybe two, maybe three games. Look at the games that are going to be competitive with high projected totals and to just forget about the other ones. You know what I mean? The pot, potential blowouts, just like the low totals. Like, Trust me, it works. First up, we got, we got the late night hammer. We got Thomas Bryant, 6.1K, no AD. Um, Russell Westbrook should be back for this game, coming off the bench. Um, but yeah, Bryant's up to 6-1, but against Charlotte? This game's going to be very high scoring. There's going to be no defense whatsoever. And probably lower owned, too, because it's the last game of the slate. So even at 6-1, yeah, give me Thomas Bryant, 40-burger last game, 28-33 before that. And give me LeBron James at 10-9. Listen here, Jack, if you cannot get to Luka, if you cannot get to Giannis, if you cannot get to Embiid, I think LeBron has a great, great ceiling here against Charlotte. 10.9K, under 11. He got a 60 burger his last game, a 60 burger before that last game. So, and it's against Charlotte, guys. I like Braun, especially if you cannot afford the other guys. Nurkic. So, I don't think a lot of people get here. He's only 6.4K, and it's because his minutes have been down. However, whenever he plays Jokic, 43, 41, 32. So, I think. If Jokic is out there, I think Portland's going to put Nurk out there. Who else is going to defend him? So I think that's why his box score looks so good against uh, Jokic. So I do like Nurkic at only 6-4. Chris Paul, CP3 at 8-3 with no Devin Booker. Other than that, the rest of the Phoenix guys are just whatever on a on a 50-game slate. But, uh, yeah, Chris Paul at 8-3. He needs to start hitting his shots, So Right now he can't hit the broadside of a fucking barn, but... If he gets if he gets right here against Memphis at A3, I mean he's got 50 point upside. He just did it two games ago. Luca, if you can afford him at 12.5, now to pay this price tag off, guys, what am I gonna tell you? He's got to get a 90. Right? And 80. Probably an 80. Can he do it against Houston? Yeah. Absolutely he can. Um, but I gotta look at the ownership, man. If he's gonna be chalk at 12.5, like. I don't know. That's a decision I'm going to have to make tomorrow, but he does make the list. He just made the list. And if he screws me at 12-5, I will never, eh, 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 ever play Luka 
again because that's a lot a lot of, of freaking money there so and then houston dallas same game so kenya martin jr so eric gordon my man my value play of the last slate he's gonna be out so i would think that kenya martin jr would start on only 3.7k makes for a great value play then can we talk about rj barrett can we talk about this next team so rj 6.8k these guys don't leave the court I looked, I had to look, I was like, this, did this last game go to overtime because R.J. Barrett played 45 minutes? The answer is no. He just didn't come off the court. So, low-key, like this next game, this next chart, well, more on the next side, could be sneaky to snack, right? 6.8K, 40, 50-point upside against Chicago. They don't play defense, so all these these Knicks starters man they're going to play 40 plus minutes man except for um Julius Randle he's like 10k so i'd probably rather play lebron for a couple hundred more but yeah give me rj barrett um uh, and then you got the indie guys because a couple things um let's see here where's it? so nesmith is questionable and it's an ankle injury so there's one right and then let's go to the uh, position optimizer here. There we go. Tyrese Halliburton. He's with the, dealing with a wrist injury. So you could be possible down two key guys, two key starters here for Indy. So if that's the case, now if Nesmith plays, I love him at 4-3. However, if he's out, man, you got to really strongly consider Andrew Nemhard and TJ McConnell. Andrew McConnell, Andrew McConnell. <laughs> Woo! Boy, that just came out. Andrew McConnell. Well, that's what we'll call the duo, right? Andrew Nemhard, 4.2. TJ McConnell, 3.2. This is solid value, you guys. These are the type of plays that will get you to Luka. Um, so, if Halliburton's out, and especially if Nesmith's out, Start both these guys with confidence. TJ and Nemhard, they should smash, even against Miami. I'm not worried about it. Then we got my man Sabonis here at 10.6K. Another worthy payup option. Last, like, three or four games, he's had, he has over 20 rebounds. Like, 20 rebounds, you guys. Washington could be without Porzingis. He's battling uh, some type of illness. Last I heard, it was because he was with a woman that wasn't clean. So he's waiting for the penicillin to kick in. I don't know. That's just what I heard. But, you know. Anyway, <laughs> so bonus at 10-6 looks great. He's going to continue to get 20-plus rebounds a game. Yeah. Jalen Brunson, another Nick that I love at only 7-1. This guy has 50-point upside. He's going to play 40 minutes. As long as the game stays close, I think it should against Chicago. 41 and a 46 in his last two. Yeah, give me Brunson. And then, yeah, part of this Laker-Hornets uh, game, if you're going to play the game, you might as well play LaMelo Ball. Now, uh, his price tag went up by like 1,000, but hey, a 64, a 50, and a 50 in his last three? Hell yeah. Two games ago against the Lakers, he got a 70-burger. So if Rozier's out, it's even better. If Rozier's in, I still think it's okay. Um, but if this game stays competitive, which I think it will with, with high-scoring offenses, no defenses, Give me the ball, the ball at 9.8K. And then what in the Austin Rivers is going on here? He made the list. Maybe he found a home in Minnesota. I don't know. Normally you play Austin Rivers 40 minutes and you're lucky he gets you four. But lately, you want to go bear back. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go bear was back last game. Got a 35. 28, 23, 36. Like, what is going on here? You can consider Austin Rivers a 3.8K, guys. If he's going to do this and get 25 to 36 minutes a game and actually score, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It might be tempting at 3.8. There probably might be better value out there, but, man, I just had to shout that out real quick. Like, those of us that have been playing for DFS for years, Know that Austin Rivers is like Tony Snell, right? Manuel quickly, another Nicker, Knickerbocker, 4.9K. They, do they still call them the Knickerbockers? I don't know, but I think they'll be at the Garden. Um, I think 
he's going to start at 4.9K. Now, he started last game, played 34 minutes, 27 DraftKings points. I don't get it. I don't get it. Before that, he played 22 minutes, got 37 fantasy points. So I think he draws a start again at 4.9. I might just do a Knickerbocker stack. Why not? And then my my sneaky play of the slate is going to be Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway is only 5.5K. Came back last game, played 35 minutes, got 28. It's against Houston. Last game against Houston, Mr. Hardaway here. Got a 40 and a 34 in his last two against him. So it's a real easy matchup for him. He seems to do really well against Houston. So give me Tim Hardaway Jr. at 5'5. Five five. And then give me some, get a little love in your life. Get a little love. Kevin Love, 4.2K. I don't know if he'll start if Mobley's out. I just think maybe he gets more minutes off the bench. And you give Love more minutes. He'll smash, absolutely smash at 4-2. Mobley's, it's a knee injury, so I don't know if he plays. I don't know if he does. But Kevin Love, I mean, it doesn't matter with him. He smashes Toronto. He smashes everyone. 20, 36, 29, now 41 against Toronto. So get a little love in your lineup, guys, with Kevin Love. Jalen Duran, 5K. Yeah, I'll keep playing this guy. Uh, it'll be a way better matchup if Clint Capella's out, right? But if he's in, I'll still take a shot here at only 5K. He's like he's a young Rudy Gobert. Watch him play, guys. Looks very similar. Then Giannis for a pay up at 12-2 against Brooklyn. Should be a high-scoring p- competitive game here. Um, if it stays competitive and you get what 40 minutes of Giannis, yeah, he can he can match Luca. So for what three hundred dollars cheaper, you can get to him. He's in play. Another sneaky play that no one's going to play in this late game is Mason Plumley, five point nine k. For some reason, now hear me out. For some reason, Mason Plumley plays really good against the Lakers. I mean, really good. Thirty eight, thirty two, forty, and a thirty six. So, yeah, I like Plumley, especially if you're going to play a night slate which I might, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much time I have tomorrow night. Um, Plummy could be very, very, very sneaky. So if Plummy gets one of these 40-point games tomorrow and you got him at less than 1%, which he probably will be, you might be looking at some money, some bread, some Rolex watches, some diamond rings, some limousines. You'll be riding in limousines, Rolls Royces, and yeah, so that's it for my core, guys. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Let me know what your plays are. I want to hear everything. Even if you guys just want to comment, woo! Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. We get to 100 likes. I'm going to give away a free one-month DFS Club membership. Take advantage, guys. Take advantage. And yes, I promise to do something with, get this haircut cleaned up. I know I'm still styling and profiling. I know I'm still... 165 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. But I still got to fix this hair up, man. Just for just for the holidays. I'm going to do that tomorrow. It doesn't matter if my barber is booked. My barber will clear her schedule when the chosen one gives her a call. So I'm not even worried about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Let's keep the winning streak going. I've won, what, four days in a row now in NBA. Got a new winning streak going in NHL. DFSclub.com, guys. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. Pick your plan, and you guys are in. It is that simple. Makes a great gift. It's a great gift. Schroeder, want to help me take him out of here? What do we say, buddy? We say, let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. And then we hit him with a woo. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.